The damage feature can be used either in an endurance race or in a Grand Prix race. The number of damage points is shown here at the start of the race is three. For Kermit, his green LED is still on. It will turn red when it gets to a low value. The driver loses a damage point if they instigate an automatic track call by crashing or they actually make their own track call, a manual track call, like so. So I press the brake button. Oh, that's weird. That's not good. So Kermit's now lost a damage point. At any time during the race or during a track call, an official can actually change that value. So if a car got knocked off by another car, but they actually lost the damage point, the official can reimburse them that damage point. I'll put a list of the keys that you need to use to actually do that with at the end of this video. You turn the damage feature on here. Here you have the repair time, the time in seconds it will take to actually get back to the full number of damage points. You set the number of damage points for each driver by going to the car users page and at the end here there's a text box here that you can fill in with the number of damage points for each driver. They don't all have to have, have the same amount of damage points, you could use it as a sort of handicap system a beginner could have more damage points and more experienced driver less damage points.